All right, so in this video, once again, we're gonna show you how inventory can help expedite your process. In this video, we are going to be invoicing a customer. So what we have is we have a couple bins of products. These are gonna be the same bins. What I'm gonna be doing is using Google Sheets once again. I'm gonna run manual counts because I, I don't know what's in this bin. I don't know how many products there are. The only thing that I'm gonna have to do is get this stuff organized so I can go ahead and count it. From there, I'm gonna be building my invoice on Google Sheets. What Hayden is gonna do is he's going to build an invoice using inventory. So we're gonna show you how much quicker that inventory can be for invoicing your customers versus manually counting. All right, you ready to get started? Let's begin. Let's do it, go. Now while Garrett completes his invoice, I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about inventory. As you can see, I just use the bulk upload option to process in all of these products on inventory. I automatically uploaded all of the data and then I can create my own custom invoice that I can send over to my customers. From this point, I can also select a payment method in which they can process their payment for the invoice. And the next steps after this include shipping and managing all of the products from my pick list that will then be boxing up to make sure that the order is shipped accurately. All right, guys, I just finished up my invoice right here. Um, as you can see, it obviously took a lot longer having to manually enter in all those products, even though I already had these products um, in my warehouse and I knew what they were, I had to go ahead and create this purchase order manually. So as you can see, it took quite a bit more time. Let's see what the final product looks like. So Hayden has his invoice ready to go. He can actually send that to his customers via email right there from inventory. He can get paid via Stripe. He can get paid via PayPal immediately. What I'm gonna have to do is send this over and I'm gonna have to wait for my customer to respond to me before we discuss payment options. And as you can see, the final product of my downloaded invoice looks like a Google Sheet. I don't have any of the uh, customer information. I don't have any of my information. And this is basically what I'm looking like on Google Sheets. Now, Garrett, I want to ask you a couple questions. Um, how much was the total of this order? The total was $460. Okay, and how much profit did you make off it? The exact number. The exact number. I don't have the exact number. I remember processing this in. I would probably say I made around $300. Guys, if you're guessing in your business, you don't know your business. Garrett doesn't know how much profit you made. When you use inventory, you know exactly how much profit you made because it shows right on the orders page. Now, Garrett, what are you gonna do in order to ship this product? Um, I'm gonna have to, well, first of all, I'm gonna wait for this customer to actually uh, respond to this and see how we can actually get a payment for it. But what I'm gonna have to do is just box these products up and then I'll have to go to whatever shipping courier or ship, um, whatever shipping service that I use. Um, in this case, I'm gonna be using Pirate Ship, so I'm gonna go to Pirate Ship and create a label for this package. Guys, when you use inventory, you don't have to do any of that. You can just click Mark is Paid, or if your customer received a payment processing invoice from you, they can just pay directly and it'll be automatically marked as paid. And then you can go into the shipping section and printing, print a label to ship out this product directly from inventory. You don't have to skip through three or four different websites. Now, Garrett, my big question for you is, tell me about your customer. So you've done business with this customer before, but give me some more insight to them. How many products have they bought? How profitable are they? All of those things. You know, the only thing I have, I, I do know this customer. I have worked with them before. Um, the only thing that I can see is this current purchase order that I've written up for them. Um, so as far as how much business I've actually done with them, um, I'm not really sure. I think that they're a good customer, uh, but I'm not really sure how they stack up compared to my other customers. All right, guys, as you can see, we're wasting a lot of time here. When you use inventory, you'll know exactly every single product that your customer has bought from you, and you also know how many times they've bought from you and how much profit you've made over the lifetime of the customer. 
Now, this is one of the most important aspects because as you grow, you will have repeat customers and you want to focus on those customers who constantly keep spending money with you. With inventory, you can select the customer section, type in your customer, you'll be able to see exactly how many orders they've placed with you, how many units they've bought in total and how much profit you've made for them. Defining your profit per customer will also help you define your lifetime value so you can go out there and acquire more customers profitably knowing that you're going to make an average amount off of them. All right, guys, so that is the invoicing process, Google Sheets versus inventory. As you can see, not only was it a whole lot easier, it was a whole lot faster. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get these orders shipped out.